Hey guys, it's me, Railguy4449, I'm back with a new video, and this is a video that I wanted to make days ago, but I didn't have time to make it, but here I am making it right now. Now, this video here is just me showcasing some reskins that I made. Yeah, these three right here, well, s specifically this one right here. Not like the these are just these two right here have some these have some like a few I changed a few things on these two right here but let's get to this one right here all right so this is basically this is basically the Union Pacific FEF3 with a new with a new paint scheme and if you're wondering what paint scheme this is well let me give you the answer the reskin that I or paint scheme that I gave this FEF right here is silver trim which is one of the paint schemes that 844 uses and it's still it's still using silver trim to this day I think from what I've heard, but yeah, I made this reskin. I did not ask someone to make it. I made this by myself. It was it was a struggle when I made it, but I managed to make it, and I'm pretty proud that I made this. Cause for my first reskin, this turned out pretty cool and okay so far it didn't look all stupid or anything it didn't look all messed up and all cursed it looked it looks pretty decent it looks actually pretty amazing I'm glad I'm actually proud of myself because this is my first reskin well it's it's one of my first fully reskin locomotives the two next to the a44 are also reskins but they only have some parts that are reskinned, but anyways, back to this, back to this FEF right here. Now the now this is basically supposed to be Union Pacific A44 from 2013 to 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 2023 as of now. Now this I guess well actually no this reskin is not fully complete. It's not fully complete yet. I still have to do a few changes on this on this FEF right here, but for now this is what it looks like. And I'm glad that I gave it the silver trim cuz cuz the FEF, the the back shops FEF it didn't have the silver trim at all. It did have the silver trim on the trailing. No, not the trailing. The the fucking pilot pilot trucks, but not on the drivers, and not yeah, not on the drivers. And it it annoyed me because it looked the FEF, the back shops FEF looked really stupid and just looked fucking dumb with. With silver trim on the pilot truck and not the drivers. So yeah. Oh yeah. If you're wondering, if you're wondering, I did. If you're wondering, I did not reskin back shops this FEF. Well, uh, well, well, I did, but this is this is just a cloned FEF. The the original is right here, and I did I did give it the silver trim. But I didn't reskin this right here. I didn't reskin the body at all because if I did, then I mean it wouldn't really affect the file because I can basically just import it. I think I can import the file into trains again, but the reskin will be reset. It I think I have no idea. But just in case, I cloned the FEF. I cloned the FEF from the back shop. To reskin this one right here, so it could look like a 44 from 2013 to 2023. 
but overall, I'm proud. Uh, the only thing I have to say is that I'm proud of myself that I made this reskin because I did not want this to look so fucking ugly and cursed. But at the end, it looks pretty amazing. It actually looks so cool. Anyways, on to the other reskins. Now, these are just. These reskins are not really major, they're just small. If you can tell the difference, then you obviously, you obviously know what I reskinned on this FEF, well, the standard one. I basically just reskinned the the drivers, the trailing truck, and the pilot truck, so it could look like a 44 from 2009 or 2005. I don't know, but yeah. But yeah, this is all I did on this FEF right here. I just reskinned the pilot truck and the trailing truck and the drivers. Because, like, back in, like, back in 20, back in, like, 2019 something, I was a, I was a big fan of the A44, and I, and I specifically liked it in this plain black paint scheme right here. And when I got the back shops FEF, I found out that I had to reskin the pilot the pilot wheels in order to look in order to in order for it to look like A44 from 2009. Because if you for 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 some of you guys who downloaded the back shops FEF on my on my Discord server, you will honestly see that the FEF does not have these plain black um, pilot trucks. It has like some kind of some kind of like silver trim grayish pilot trucks, which is really disappointing because the the Union Pacific FEF standard looks ugly in that silver trim color, especially if it's just the especially if it's just the pilot truck. But anyways, that's it for this FEF right here. Now, time to move on to this one. Again, not really much to explain on this one. Not really that much to explain at all. All I did was just reskinned again the the pilot truck and the trailing truck. So it could, oh, and the drivers. So it could look like the Union Pacific a44 or FEF the FEF free so it could look like A44 from the 1980s when it was in the Greyhound livery now I could have done better with this reskin especially these right here I could have done better because when I re when I was finished with this reskin of the pilot trucks I just realized that, oh god, it just looks so fucking ugly, because you can't even see, like, like, hold up, like, this part right here, like, there's nothing, like, bulging out, like, no, like, shadows or stains and stuff, I should have, I should have added stains on, on, like, this pilot truck right here on the Greyhound FEF. But anyway, but anyway, hold, hold on. Let me back this thing up a bit so I can. So I can, get, so I can just like get both of these FEFs side by side. Oh god, that looks so cool, especially with, especially with this FEF with the silver trim. And I'm going to say this, and I hope none of you guys roast me in the comments. I rather prefer the Union Pacific, or or just a Union Pacific FEF with a silver trim paint scheme. There, I said it now. Just shut up. I'm just, I'm just joking, guys. But anyway, that's it for this video for today. 
Also, before I was going to reskin these FEFs, I was originally going to reskin the Union Pacific GP30 in order, in order to make it look like 805. Also, to my new subscribers, please don't ask anything about 805 because I do not want to spoil anything. Because then that will ruin the surprise or just ruin the fun for you guys. But anyway, yeah, that's it for this video for today. I just wanted to show, I just wanted to make this small showcase of these FEFs that I, that I reskinned. Most importantly, the parts, like the drivers and stuff. And that'll be it for, that'll just be it for this video. I will probably, if, if we get a new, if, if I get a new, like, okay, if a new GP30 that has changeable numbers gets released, because I heard about that on Discord, if that if if that new GP30 with changeable numbers gets released to trains, I'm gonna download it. If not, if it if it doesn't get released, then I might as well reskin the GP30 that I have. But anyways, that's it. I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.